fantastic. Um, hello to the both of you. Greetings from Toronto, Canada. How's it going today? Hi, thank you for having us. Good to have the opportunity to talk to you. I, I was able to watch uh, the first episode that they gave me last night. And oh my God, I can't wait for more because I love this stuff. Like, oh my gosh, to be able to kind of go back in time and get this behind the scenes look at Elizabeth the first, Alicia, for you, oh my God, you must have been chomping at the bit to be able to, to explore what this young girl went through. My goodness, how much fun did you have? It, it was insane. I mean, I've, I, I felt, I, I do feel so blessed that I was allowed to, to take on that role. It, it is, um, I don't know, it, it was just such a pleasure to, to be a part of such an incredible cast and crew. Um, we were just all so so happy to to be working on this on 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 this project, and I think to to play a queen that we think we all know yeah. the died in her early years and um, tell a story about you know just a young woman coming of age and growing up rather than um, rather than a princess actually because I feel like that's how close we we allow to get to her and um, the psycho psychology behind it. That was that was just so special. Um, I can just yeah. imagine. Um, and Tom, for you, uh, look, I, I love I love talking to you. We're old pals, and I I have to say that you know I love everything that you do. But this one, how juicy! I mean, first of all, I had to Google Thomas Seymour because I really didn't know very much about him. And I first I'm going to say to you that you are way more handsome than he was. Okay, I'm just putting it out there. But he was such a cad. Oh my God, how juicy was this for you to play him? Yeah, you know, I was the same as you. Um, I didn't know a huge amount about him until I had this audition and I was like, goodness, I've got to Google this guy. And even on Wikipedia, there's not a huge amount. Um, yeah. so the research I did, uh, was, um, was was kind of difficult to get as much. So that's what makes this story so exciting, I think, because um, it is a part of history that really hasn't been told that that well. Um, well yeah, but here's this guy. He marries Elizabeth's stepmother. Let me get this right. Yeah. And then he's so flirtatious with this 14 year old girl. Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, he's going behind his wife, even though they're, they have this plot going kinda, you know, I don't wanna give away too much of the story for people who don't know. But then, man, what a jerk. Like really, he's, re you know, she, this is her first opportunity to really fall in love with someone. You're not playing a real nice guy here, Tom. No, no, he, he is a complex character um, and not a particularly nice person. Um, but I think what's interesting about him is that he's maybe the only male character in the whole show that really listens and understands the women in the show. Yeah. And yet he is the same person that takes away, um, as you said, the innocence of a young Elizabeth. And, yeah. um, and I think that the nuance of that storyline is so well written by our young uh, showrunners. It's, her name's Anya Reese. She was 28, 29 when she was showrunning this show. Amazing. And it's so uh, inherently from this female gaze and with such female understanding that I think that, um, and I hope that a lot of people will watch this, especially women, and I think that it will really speak to them. Um, and there'll be a massive Thomas Seymour hate pylon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we love you, Tom, so it's okay, really. It's all good. Don't take it too personally, okay? Now, Alicia, uh, to be able to play Elizabeth at this young age, uh, you know, what a gift, honestly. But let's talk about these amazing sets and costumes that obviously just immerses you into the whole world. But the, the way that this was shot, I mean, it was so dark and, and, and beautiful to watch. Like, I, oh, man, just what was it like to be on those locations and, and shoot this? Well, I think we, we we were so spoiled. I think we got so spoiled. We didn't really have to do much, actually. <laughs> so all the credits go to go to uh, Anya, the show uh, the 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 showrunner, director Justin Chadwick, the DOP uh, um, uh, cinematographer uh, Adolfo Veloso. They they have built a world that was just it, it. I mean, it was just real. We just had to arrive. Um, and 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 lose ourselves in it. it. Everything was lit by candles or natural light. Um, and what 
what comes with that is that you are allowed to shoot 360 degrees. So whenever you, we would like uh, shoot a scene into that direction, but something exciting happens the other way, wow. um, the doctor would just pan around. And I think that way, and also like wearing 100% historically accurate costumes um, and hair and makeup, we, we were just like, we were just in it for 10 out 10 12 hours a day you know there was no leaning back and just i don't know just forgetting about what you what what you're here for um for a minute but you were we became the characters and we just had to to, to react to to the circumstances basically yeah That's and it must have been great at the end of the day to be able to take off those corset the corset wow <laughs> I, I I didn't even want to take it off. It was just, it was just. You're still with me now. I see that. Yeah, I see that. Um, Tom, you know, having done so many series, you're, like I say, you're so amazing in them. Do you enjoy being able to flesh out a character in the sense of doing it in a series as opposed to just being in a film, shoot that, it's a two hour movie and you're done. What do you prefer? Do you like this type of, do you like doing series more? Um. Well, I mean, in, in both, you're still playing the arc of a character. Um, I, I'm just interested in really great characters. It doesn't matter whether it's television or film. Um, uh, and honestly, when I first read Thomas Seymour, he was so unlike anything I'd ever played before. Um, I was genuinely terrified and really wasn't sure if I would be able to, to play him. Um, He's so funny, he's so quick of thought, but he's so, he's so complex. Yeah. And that line between being a villain and also being a three dimensional person is so thin that, you know, we, I think everybody, all the characters have to kind of navigate that line very carefully. Um, but he, he was definitely, despite how morally bankrupt he is, he was definitely, the most enjoyable part I've ever played, I think. And I really hope that audiences um, enjoy him. But all of the characters in the show are so well fleshed out, especially the female characters. They are um, fantastic. And I think the audience are gonna really respond to, to the characters themselves. Then, you know, there's, there's nobody that's one dimensional at all. Sure. Everyone's a little bit bad. Everyone's a little bit good. You know? It's great. Yeah, yeah. And Alicia, just to wrap it up, what did you learn most walking away from this? You know, you're, you're German, you're playing a British, you know, royalty, um, but what royalty goes through? I mean, who doesn't love a good, you know, we, we even to this day, we love the crown. We love watching these types of things because we want a little bit of, of insight of what they're going through personally. Did you learn anything about royalty while you were doing this? Well, I think, I think, Rather than learning something about royalty, I think I, I, I learned and was reminded that to always try and ha and see the the humans and the and the people behind those those public figures we know, yeah. and and um, I think try to understand where they come from and and how that informs their later decisions. Um, and I think with this, it's there is so much unexpected. Um, pain and, and and struggle in this and in her early years and it's just astonishing how how you you can literally like draw lines you're like okay this made her make that decision this made her um treat the people like this and that it's just it's just so so incredible how how you can learn from from uh, like looking having a yeah. look behind the departments yeah um, absolutely Absolutely. Well, behind the public figures, I think. Yeah, it's fascinating. I, I love, I can't get enough of this. Well, I can't wait to keep diving in with you guys in this show. It's fantastic. We're going to we'll be watching it here in Canada as well. So thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And uh, have a great rest of your day. Go get some rest. I know you've been doing this a long time. So <laughs> thanks so much. Thank you for having us. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, guys. Okay. Bye.